Hello, my name is Bob Beluzzo. I'm the superintendent of Hibbing Public Schools, and it's been my privilege to serve in that position for the past 14 years. During my tenure, we've experienced some great times and some difficult times. But through it all, the residents of the district have always supported education and have always kept it as a high priority. In 2003, the district proposed a 10-year operating referendum that would keep our schools strong and allow us to maintain high-quality programs. Voters overwhelmingly supported that referendum. But it is expiring this year, and if it is not renewed, the district will lose about a half million dollars of levy and state aid each year. If that happens, serious cuts to programs and services will be made. That's why we've proposed a renewal of the expiring referendum. The referendum you will be voting on gives the district the same referendum levy authority that it has currently. It is not an increase. We're doing some great things in our schools. We want to build upon those things and remain an educational leader in the region and across the state of Minnesota. Renewing the operating referendum will help us do that. Let me show you just some of the innovative things that are happening in our public schools. Last year, the Lincoln Elementary School was designated as a reward school by the Minnesota Department of Education. That means it was among the highest performing 15% of Title I schools in the state. We are very proud of that accomplishment. Science, technology, engineering, and math courses, often called STEM, have become an important part of today's education. With the help of several local businesses and the commitment from many engineers who donate their time to teach after school sessions, we created Engineering Cool, an exciting program that introduces elementary students to various fields of engineering. This program has been very well received by sixth grade students and their parents. The days of teachers using the blackboard and chalk are mostly gone. In the Hibbing Public Schools, every classroom is equipped with an interactive whiteboard and a presentation station enabling our teachers to provide instruction in a 21st century effective manner. At the Lincoln Elementary School, every student in grades 3 through 6 has been assigned an iPad. These devices are the educational tools that are necessary to equip our students with the skills they will need to be competitive and productive in tomorrow's world. The iPad initiative will grow to include students at Hibbing High School next year and eventually will reach our youngest learners at the Greenhaven and Washington schools. In many schools around the state, industrial arts classes, now referred to as industrial technology courses, have disappeared. Hibbing High School has maintained a strong industrial technology program because we believe the skills taught in these classes provide students with life skills that are valuable in daily living and important in helping students find good paying jobs after completing their educational careers. Students from Hibbing High School's building construction class team up with students from the community colleges to build a habitat house each year right here in Hibbing. Through this program, students learn not only about house construction, but they are taught the value of community service. After seeing a needy family move into their new house in the spring of the year, high school students who have helped build the dwelling have often told me that this was the best experience they had during their educational career. While other schools have had to cut many of their elective offerings, Hibbing High School continues to offer a vast array of technical and academic classes that meets the needs of all students. The Hibbing schools have highly skilled teachers, many with advanced degrees, teaching in their fields to prepare students for tomorrow's world of work or to get them ready for post-secondary study. A well-rounded education is a must in today's complex society. 
We maintain a high number of college preparatory courses in math, science, and English to give our students the skills they need to succeed in post-secondary education. We offer multiple years of two foreign languages, German and Spanish. This year, we are starting a pilot program in Mandarin Chinese. This course is offered with the help of modern technology available on the iPad. We are excited to provide this new opportunity to our students. College in the Schools provides students the opportunity to take college level courses for credit at no cost to them and never leave the high school campus. Hibbing High School partners with Hibbing Community College to offer college in the schools classes in physics, chemistry, and psychology. High school students can even acquire official certification as a nursing assistant by successfully completing the program offered in the high school setting. Research shows that students who participate in extracurricular activities do better in school and are more likely to graduate than students who don't participate in extracurricular activities. Hibbing High School offers approximately 35 activities for students in grades 7 through 12. These activities cover a broad spectrum of athletics, fine arts, and academics. Hibbing High School truly has something for everyone. With financial assistance from the state of Minnesota, the Hibbing Public Schools will be offering a full-day, everyday kindergarten program next year. This program will support the rigorous academic and social curriculum for some of our youngest learners. Each year, students across the state are assessed in the areas of reading and math. The results for Hibbing students have shown great improvement during the past few years. In 2013, our students scored highest in the area in reading and well above the state average. In math, we were third in the region, but still well above the state average. It is our goal to continue to improve and become the best in the entire state, a lofty goal that can only be reached through collaboration and hard work. In my, tenure as super in my tenure as superintendent of the Hibbing Public Schools, I've seen the completion of many construction and remodeling projects. These projects have been necessary to keep our facilities safe and well maintained. This past winter, with the help of our range delegation of state legislators, we secured $7.9 million in funding from the IRRRB. This money will be used to renovate and remodel classrooms at the Washington Elementary School. It will help fund Wi-Fi connectivity throughout the district. We plan to replace all windows and window coverings in Hibbing High School. And we will repair the seats and floor in the historic Hibbing High School Auditorium. If funds remain after we've completed these projects, we hope to resurface some of the parking areas around our schools that are in dire need of repair. It should be noted that the IRRRB bond money must be used for capital projects and cannot be used for operating expenses. In each of the last two years, the district has had a new director of community education these creative individuals have taken a good program and made it even better. Outreach events like the Halloween party and movie in the park have been enjoyed by adults and children alike. We plan to continue to offer new and innovative programs and events for the public through Hibbing Community Education. In this presentation, I've showcased just a few of the many programs that set our schools apart from others. What makes our schools great is a highly skilled and dedicated staff. Our staff members are leaders in the community as well as in the field of education. A few examples of staff members in leadership roles include elementary music specialist Patty Stoddard, who recently participated in the Yale Music in Schools Initiative. 
high school principal. High school principal Mike Finko serves on the board of directors for the Minnesota Association of Secondary School Principals, a position that helps set education policy and direction across the state. Joe Arthurs, supervisor of buildings and grounds, was appointed to a statewide committee to study future facility finance reform and make recommendations to the Minnesota State Legislature in 2014. Jean Bymark, a longtime family and consumer science teacher at Hibbing High School, was recently named as Minnesota Facts Teacher of the Year and has been nominated for the 2014 National Facts Teacher Award. The complete list of staff members who work hard in leadership roles in and out of the school district is too lengthy to mention. I've told you about some of the programs and people in our schools that we are extremely proud of and that we want to continue to support if the referendum is renewed. Now, let's take a more detailed look at the tax impact of the referendum as well as how the Hibbing schools compare with other districts. The proposed referendum does not give the district additional taxing authority. It's a renewal. It's a continuation of the same referendum authority that was approved by the voters in 2003. If renewed, this referendum will continue to generate about $500,000 each year for the next 10 years. This money is important if we are to continue delivering some of the high quality programs that we've initiated in recent years and be able to attract new families in the community, families who search out the best educational system for their children. Hibbing students must compete for jobs, college admittance, and on statewide test scores with students from all across the state. This chart shows some of the districts with referendums in the metro area. These districts are able to provide even more opportunities and more educational programs for their students. The proposed renewal referendum in Hibbing is a moderate amount per student in comparison to the other districts shown. Closer to home, we see that our neighbors also have operating referendums in place that are similar or greater than what is currently in place in Hibbing. Taxes are important to all of us. The Hibbing School Board and administration are sensitive to the concerns of all taxpayers. If the proposed referendum is renewed, residents with property having a referendum market value of $75,000 will continue to be assessed about $31 per year, and the school district will receive about $500,000 each year to provide programs and services. There's more good news. Because of changes enacted in the 2013 Minnesota State Legislature, Hibbing School District taxes will go down in 2014. Even if the referendum is renewed, we expect the levy to go down by 6.8% or $190,000. It's exciting to be a part of all the changes that are occurring in education. With your support, the Hibbing Schools will remain an educational leader throughout the state on behalf of the children in the district, I want to thank you for your commitment to education. I hope this information is helpful to you and that you will get out to vote. The election will be held on Tuesday, November 5th. Please vote at your regular polling place between noon and 8 p.m. Remember, the polls don't open until noon for this election. If you have questions about the proposed referendum, don't hesitate to call either Scott Wirtman or myself. Thank you.